This tutorial is to show you how to download and begin using the Wabbit Studio Graphing Calculator Emulator. This program behaves just like a Texas Instruments 83 or T84 Graphing Calculator. First thing you need to do is go to the website wabbit.codeplex.com. Once at the site, click on the download button. Agree to the terms. Click Save File, and the program will begin to download. If it doesn't open up automatically for you, click on it to get it running. Now click on the Run button, and most likely the graphing calculator is not going to pop up the way mine just did. You'll see a window like this that says Wabbit MU Setup. Go down to the third button and highlight Create a ROM image using OpenSoft software. Click Next. Choose the way you want your graphing calculator to look. I like the TID4 Plus Silver Edition. Click Next. Next, go to the down arrow and click OS 2.55 MP. This is the most updated operating system that makes working with fractions and editing previous entries easier. Click Finish. You need to save your file. I'm going to save mine to the desktop, but you can save it anywhere on your computer. I'll just call it Graph Calc and click Save. You might have to click the Finish button. There's a very good chance that your calculator will pop up just with this little green screen. If that's the case, go to the Calculator menu and click on Enable Screen. Now the calculator should be on. If it's not, just click the On button. Now you can just begin using the calculator. So I'm click 7 plus 9, Enter, and you can see my calculator is working. Some adjustments that you might want to make to your calculator. Go to the calculator menu, drop down to options, check mark the restore previous state. That means when you turn off your calculator and then you turn it back on, it'll pick up right where it left off. I'd also show ROM wizard, and I'd also check mark remember window placements. That way the calculator stays in the exact spot as to when you used it last. Click OK. Okay, at this point, I'm going to X out of everything and show you how to turn your calculator back on. Okay, right now, somewhere on my desktop where I saved it is the graphcalc.rom icon. If I click on that, basically it's not going to start up. So I'm going to get rid of this thing. What you have to do is you have to find your downloads file on your computer. I'm using Windows 7. I hit the Start button. I go to my name, and I see over here it says Downloads. I'm going to click on that, and then I find the download of Wabbit MU. You could cut and paste it, or I'm going to drag it to my desktop. And now, once I have it in the place where I want it, I'll click on it, click Run, and the calculator should pick up right where I left off. Or in this case, I have to turn it on, and there you go.